Gotta catch them all, Pokemon fans. Welcome to another Playscape Games video, and today it's Poke Post. You know it, you love it. And today, as well as showing you some amazing cards, we're also going to be opening up three packs of Shining Fates. Yeah, there's too many different Fates. We're going to open up three packs of Shining Fates, so you got that to look forward to as well. Um, please remember, if you want to keep supporting the channel, it's very easy. You don't have to spend money. All you have to do is make sure you keep hitting that like button, subscribe to the channel, and you know, even just watching the video supports supports the channel and supports you know supports the endeavors. So please continue to support. Please also head to our Discord server. Click the link in the description. We're going to be doing something. We're going to be doing a nice giveaway when we get to 250 members. So. Yes, and uh, let's just jump straight into the Pokey Post. Gotta catch them all. And here is this week's Pokey Post. We got a decent amount of cool things to show you, but I thought just you know it's been a it's been a sort of week devoid of much many videos in total. So we're going to open three Shining Fates booster packs at the end of the video. So you know see if we can finally pull that Gyarados. Just like this is open Shining Fates. I don't I haven't had a chance to open as much Shining Fates as I would have wanted because of the product arriving late and you know wanting to fulfill orders for my you know for, for the people that have bought stuff so i figured let's just you know let's just open some shining fates i think the i mean they keep saying that they don't know when the rest of the shining fates are going to come in because i still owe people tins it's really no really annoying and i do apologize to anyone that's pre-ordered through playscapegames.com i don't know when they're coming in they don't tell us like in advance and hopefully they'll just come in soon you know yeah I do apologize for that but yeah anyway look we got a nice beautiful minchino so i'm going to try and get free um, shiny Minchinos to go alongside those special promo um, Chinchinos because I'm going to need, you know, Chinchino is a very strong card for um, uh, for decks going forward because of, you know, Jirachi rotating and level balls are very, very strong, you know, help to find your Chinchinos because they've only got 90 HP, so, yeah, picking up the shiny ones um, now whilst, whilst they're still kind of like, available. Uh, what's in here? What's in here? Okay, so this lovely person, aha! Okay, so fun fact, everyone, fun fact, I picked up a bunch of Charmanders. So, got a friend who likes Charmander, but specifically this one, this one here is actually gorgeous. So, fun fact, this one was only from Dragon Majesty, and the artist, um, what's his name, Kazumi, Kazumi, the artist Kazumi, he specifically even said that this Charmander was a direct tribute to the one from the anime. You can see there he's got the leaf, he's protecting his fire. It's not the Charmander from the anime, but it's a tribute sort of like, you know, to that one. And because this one is from Dra Dragon Majesty, you know, not many people opened or bought much Dragon Majesty because it wasn't a very good set. This Charmander now regularly sells as a common for four to five pounds each. So um, I told my Patreons about this uh, last week for underrated card of the week. So if you want to, you know, and then I got and some of them even said, oh, wow, I found some Charmander still like at you know, cheaper prices than that. So um, if you want to find out, you know, when I spot underrated cards and things like that, please, you know, head to my uh, Patreon, placeitgames.com. And so, uh, yeah, so I got a few more of these Charmanders. These ones aren't worth anything, but I, I, I got someone who loves Charmanders, so I'm just gonna, I'm just acquiring some Charmanders and uh, got a nice reverse hollow one here from uh, Vivid Voltage. So yeah, Charmanders are very popular and really happy to, you know, really happy to pick those up. So, so we got a few more bits here. Yeah, so the post isn't as stacked as I would like it because I was hoping for something to. Basically, I've got some PSA cards stuck at Customs at the moment. Um, they're very... FedEx are absolutely awful at communicating and keeping in contact with people. So, yeah, I've got it. It's a really Charmander-centric kind of video today. So there's, a, there's a nice shiny Charmander here from Hidden Fates. Lots of people are opening Hidden Fates at the moment. If you want to acquire any particular Hidden Fates cards, the best time, is probably to, best time to probably get them will be now, whilst, you know, so many people are still opening them and the tins are still in great... Um, you know, there's still a decent amount of the tins around, but... Uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Very happy with this shiny Charmander. Very popular Pokemon again. And uh, he just looks, he looks so happy there. I love it. Okay. So we got, that's the shiny Charmander. Let's see what's in these ones. So I honestly, once again, I've forgotten all the stuff that I've ordered. But uh, yeah, so big shout out to Daniel from Guernsey. Um, I bought, bought some Kyogres. I wasn't expecting them to be this off-center, but that's fine. When you're buying random cards of card market, you don't really know what the what the conditions are going to be like. I might even get that one graded because that looks like that actually deserves the OC grade. Let's have a look at this Kyogre. That's incredibly off-centered. Maybe that's why he's selling them because they're, they're, they're both OC, but let's take them out. Um, oh my goodness, yeah, three of them in one top there, that's not good, but, yeah, look at that, do you, so what do you think, do you think that deserves the off-center grade, look how much thicker that border is on that side, that's absolutely crazy, 
aside from that, they look in decent condition. I might try and grade this one just in case it gets the OC grades. You know, makes a bit of a more of a thing. Unfortunately, this one is not as off-centered as that one, so it probably won't get the OC grade. And I got a nice Al Creamy V Max because fun fact, these are only like three pounds now, and in Japan, people are using Al Creamy V Max in the Shadow Rider Psychic decks. So it has a nice sort of late game finisher or you know an additional attacker so get the rainbow ones now whilst they're like you know three euros or however silly cheap they are okay so big shout out to the lovely people at titan cards um yep big shout out to those lovely people look what it is it's another charmander so unfortunately my underrated card can't really stay hidden for too long because pokey post happens and i always want to show off what i get but once again i told like the people on patreon about this charmander at like monday and uh yeah, I know at least two or three of them told me. Oh, I, I picked up, I picked up the Charmander at a very good price. Thanks for the heads up. So, right, Jesse and James. Um, fortunately, once again, someone shoved three of these inside one top loader, which is really annoying. I'd rather them just put two in one top loader, and then you know put one outside in the sleeve so it's still protected. But they still look to be in really nice condition. Once again, hidden fates. Um, lots of availability at the moment. These went up to like £15 when the full art stuff went crazy. And then they, they dropped down. They're about £5 each now. But very popular. You know, features Jesse, James, Meow from Wobbuffet. Very iconic. You know, just long long term, I think, worth grading. And, you know, just slowly slowly selling those potentially. Or even just selling them raw if I need, if I need the cash quicker. Not at the moment, obviously, because Hidden Fates are still around. But eventually they'll stop printing Hidden Fates because they've got other... They got shining fates to fall. I think we're going to be inundated with a lot of shining fates eventually. So just like with hidden fates, right? But even so, I like I much prefer opening hidden fates over shining fates. So more speaking of hidden fates, we have got here a nice beautiful um, Russia ram, and it's nice for this lovely person to put it in a semi rigid and with a little pull tab to get it out. So beautiful Russia ram. Um, it's from Black and White. I don't know when they're going to ever remake the Black and White video games, but it's still cool to see. Um, you know, shiny Russia Ram, very nice condition once again. I'm still picking up like the odd hidden face cards here and there. I'm not buying crazy amounts at the moment because I need to save for certain things, but um yeah, nice one there. And I think this is probably gonna be one of the nicer things. Oh god, so it's a parcel inside of a parcel, it's parcel section. Alright, let's see if we can get inside here without causing too much chaos or trouble. Trouble, trouble, trouble. Prepare for trouble and make it double to protect the world from devastation. <laughs> Sorry, I had to. I had to. Right, it's been a long weekend. Uh, right. Aha, and here is the beautiful shiny Eevee. So this is very much like a, a Fates Bonanza. We've got shiny, we got, um, we got hidden Fates, like singles in the Pokey Post. And then we're finishing off with some shining Fates booster packs. So, yeah, absolutely gorgeous. We've got here the beautiful Eevee uh yep shining fates very popular i really like i just like the artwork on this regardless of like the fact it's supposed to be a shiny eevee look at the palettes like just like the charm and the palette swap is very kind of different but yeah very happy to to see this eevee and um i think i sold a psa 10 copy for like 150 dollars like a few months ago and so who knows like what's going to be like by the time this one gets graded and comes back like in two years or however long by the time psa reopens i get them graded and they come back but yeah, so there's some bus and stuff there. So now it's time for these shining, um, shining, hidden fates. Sorry, yeah, shining fates. I thought it was because we're talking about hidden fates. And yeah, let's see if we can finish with a WTF epic pool. Guess the energy game at home if you want to play along. Let me know if you also redeem the code. I think we're going to find a electric energy. It's darkness. Okay. So we want to see that shiny Charizard V Max, but I will take a shiny Lapras or a shiny Ditto at this stage, or even an amazing rare, just from three random packs. Oh, let's go! It's a double pull. It's a double electric pull. We got the Morpeko V, and we also got the Toxtricity V Max shiny card. So one for one on epic pulls. That's so nice. Shiny Toxtricity V Max. Love it. Love it. Beautiful card. So this was a very hyped card when. Rebel Clash was first announced. Some people like got the odd tournament result here and there for it, but it's just like you know. Now that we got Tapu Koko V Max, I have no idea because you're always two shotting most of the time with the G Max Riot, so you might as well paralyze. You know, you might as well paralyze them at the same time as well as you know, as well as two, as well as you know two shotting them. So make it makes sense to make sense to just play um, Tapu Koko V Max, but it's still still a, a neat idea. And obviously Tapu Koko V Max. Um, they need to be behind on prizes, so technically the Toxtricity might be a better early game card, but it doesn't really work that way. Uh, we're going to go for Grass. Ice Water. 
So yeah, please leave a comment below. Have you received any epic posts in the mail this week? You know, have you are you opening Shining Fates? Are you are you still buying Hidden Fates singles? Do you, you know, do you want to complete the Shining Fates or Hidden Fates Master Set? So I'd love to know, you know, what you guys are up to, what you're what you're doing, what you're buying. You know, please also head to our Discord server. We've got an amazing community there. We're going to do a giveaway when we get to two hundred and fifty members. Once again, click the link, go to the link tree, check out the Discord server. There's a buy swap sell area. Um, fire. There's a um, you know, competitive area, if you want to ask me about competitive TCG, we've got a Patreon exclusive chat room, all sorts of amazing things, so, yeah, please check them out when you get a chance. Nick it, roll it, coughing, and a luxury, but we got that beautiful toxicity, but it's all about the awesome hidden fates, sort of, you know, amazing things, we've got the nice Eevee, the Jesse, lots of Jessies, like more Charmanders, um, Kyogre's, beautiful cut Charmander, but yeah, I think my favourites this week have to be those shi the shiny Charmander and Eevee, still the most popular, like half art shinies from Hidden Fates, and yeah, still still underrated at their price point. I think. Please leave a comment below. You know, have you been opening Hidden Fates? Do you do you love these cards as much as I do? I'd love to know your thoughts. And yes, remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch them all. A huge thank you to our lovely patrons. They get exclusive videos, market updates, Q and A's with me, and much more besides. Click the link below to join the Place Get Games Patreon, and I will see you very soon, Pokemon fans. Gotta catch more.